So, um, in other news, great news. I thought this is great. Um, LeBron James, he's opening up a job <laughs> training and liter and financial literacy center in Ohio. Um, so let's clap that up. Oh, clap that up. Anything dealing with literacy, uh, teaching people how to read. Yeah, uh, the LeBron James Family Foundation announced um, he is opening a 60,000 square foot uh, venue called House 330, uh, which will which will provide uh, financial literacy advice, training, and recreational activities for area youth. I clap that up again, yeah. man. <laughs> if there's one thing, Jermaine Lightfoot, your grandmother is 92 today. Damn, I gotta Shouts drop bond to that. Shout out to her. She made it. <clears throat> okay, grandma. Okay. If there's one thing LeBron's gonna do. Is hold down his community. Bro. Oh no no dude, it, no no! You can say what you want to say. Say what you want. I, I get it. Yes, I'm with all that. I'm with all of that. But one thing he is gonna do. See, we we our problem is we look at things too much from a linear perspective. So it's either right or wrong, and the universe is is not necessarily right or wrong. It's right and wrong. No, it's everything you want it to be. Continue. Well, we we uh we have a problem where we tend to cut off. Our nose to spite our face, right? So you like say you are in that community in Ohio where your child can benefit from the school he opened, right? But you're going, you, you have your woke suit on and you're thinking about everything else, which I <clears throat> totally understand. Yes, but you're willing to not let your kid go there and get a great education, go because to college. He's free. in the Illuminati, right? You know what I'm saying? And right. or you, if somebody in your family needs a job in that community, and you can go to this place. And you know, do something right, but you're stuck there, and that's what we talk about when it comes to like Jay Z, Beyonce. Like, where if they have like scholarship funds, we get everything that they're into, everything that they're accused of doing. But if they're giving out money to your child or to you to do whatever, take it and you use that, you, you use that energy for something else, for something positive, absolutely, you know what I'm absolutely, so. because they are obligated to do so to make themselves feel. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, warranted mm -hmm. for what it, for the other stuff that they're doing, sort of like a karmic balance, oh, facts, right, so facts, to facts. speak. So they will do the, the dirt with the left hand and at least open up the Rockefellers, the all of them, the Duparts, the Rockefellers. Yeah, we were talking about that yesterday. It takes two, like two to three generations to kind of wash all your karma, like yes. how they how they look at it. You get what I'm saying? Yes. Like their families are into some wicked, wicked stuff, but. Two or three generations down the line, you create the, the history to where it never happened. It never happened, and all you remember is the Rockefeller Foundation did this, or the Rockefeller Foundation did that. So soon, soon the S. Dot Carter Foundation mm -hmm. for blind kids, or whatever the case may be, will all you will remember. So a lot of times we, 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 we have a stopgap. We can't get past. Mm -hmm. You know what what it is that we see, and that's very linear in our thinking. So um, we don't benefit a lot because we become our own worst enemies. Right. We can't. I can't do that because I can't. The Tyler Perry just offered me four hundred thousand for a movie deal. I can't take it because he's Tyler Perry and he wore a dress. <laughs> and then somebody else go. I'll take that four hundred thousand right. and turn it into ten million. And now I'm mad at them too because you know. So. We have to, oh, a uh, 50-year journey. Thank you. Thank you. Black Dot Mac, we need to focus on collective con subconsciousness, manifest our energy on transferring ourselves to the next realm. They have been trying for eons to destroy us. We taught the roaches how to survive. Raise <coughs> your levels. And crypto coins. And crypto coins. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate that support. And... Everything you said was right on point. You know, I try to spend a lot of time with the subconscious 
because that's where the energy truly is and that's what your enemy is after is after that subconscious energy yeah today i was i was doing a lot of work trying to monitor my thoughts today mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying something annoyed me and i tried to like all right bring it back Right, Relax. right, and and that becomes a training exercise that we almost have to do daily. So your yeah. your fifteen minutes of meditation should be about aligning yourself with what you're going to allow and what you are not going to allow, because you are the god of that particular of your own universe. Mm -hmm. You 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 hardwiring your own life. Once the neurons, I used to call it. Nigger mortis, not, not rigor mortis, <laughs> nigger mortis. When a certain mindset hardens and you think that this is the way it's supposed to be and, 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 and your vessels and your thought process becomes stuck in a certain way, that's nigger mortis. Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? So what happens is, um, like I, I told you that my concept with the marble is if I take a knife and I carve it into the table and I place a marble there, the marble is not deeply ingrained in it because I haven't carved. But if I carve 10 years yeah. of the same thoughts, of the same energy, of the same job, going to school the same, and I do that, the grooves become, so when I drop a marble in there, it's stuck, it's stuck way yeah. down. And even to get it back up to zero point, which mm -hmm. we are today, zero point mm -hmm. requires a lifetime. This is why people are who they are. No new neurons are firing off and we get mad at people who say they own drugs or they're using mushrooms or certain things to try to rewire our thought process and we're all victims of it right you wake up the same time you go to the same job you hate that same bitch who always get on your nerve <laughs> she never minds her business and that same supervisor and one day i'm gonna tell him mm -hmm. and you go have lunch at the same place yeah so what you're doing is you're creating a program that only does the same things and, that, and i drove a bus almost 20 years mm -hmm. can you imagine right yeah just the know. same routine oh my god right so you at, at times uh, you know, so when, when people live their life like that, nothing new comes to their life. Mm. And then they want to know why they're not uh, reaping the benefits of, of new things. So it is important that we get this zero point popping and we try to rewire some yeah. neurons. Now, don't don't go all out and just start <laughs> doing a whole bunch of crazy <laughs> things you that you know you can't sustain. Just add something new to the equation every so often. Add something new, a little something new. So you can, you know, rewire those those neurons. Right. That's probably why niggas go out and cheat all the goddamn time. I hate to say it, but um, you know.